Welcome back to another Lettuce Garden scripting tutorial. In this video, we're going to go over how to add a Game Pass weapon to your game. So I've already bought the Game Pass, so when I spawn into the game, in my backpack, I'm going to get a weapon called Special Weapon. There it is, and I've also set it up so that if I buy the Game Pass in the game, I will also get this weapon. So if players buy it from your website, they'll get the weapon, and if they buy it from a Game Pass shop within your game, they will also get the weapon. If you want the assets for this, check out the link in the description. And if you need help with anything, whether it's this video or some other video that you're um, stuck on or some other Roblox scripting question that you have, check out our Discord server, link in the description. So to start us off, let's make a server script inside of server script service. And we're gonna name this to be Game Pass Weapon. And Let's make a variable here called local game pass ID. And for now, let's just set this to be a bunch of random numbers. We're going to actually upload our game pass later. And basically what we want to do is we want to detect when a player joins our game, if they own this game pass. So let's make a function, local function, player added, and we're going to get the player here. And let's import the player service. So local players equals game, get service players. And what we can do here is we can connect it up. So we can say players dot player added connect, and then we'll run the player added function every time a player is added to our game. And we want to add in one extra little bit of code here in case this script, for whatever reason, depending on how your game is structured, runs after a player has joined the game. We also want to loop through the current active players. So local for player and players get players do player by the player. So this will also run our player out of code for anyone who was in our game before we had the opportunity to actually run the script. And basically within this player added, we want to do something like if owns game pass, then print give tools. Okay. Well, how do we check if they own the game pass? So we can do here, we, let's import our marketplace service. So local marketplace service equals game get service marketplace service. And then we can make a new variable here, local owns game pass equals marketplace service user owns game pass async. And then we can pass in here player dot user ID, pass in our game pass ID. And that's it. So now we have a variable here. This will be true if they own the game pass and false otherwise. If they do what we want to do here is we want to call give game pass awards and we'll make a new function above player added local function give game pass awards and then we'll pass in the player as well so make sure we're passing through the player here and what we can do is i forgot an s there on line 14 game pass awards and what we can do here now is if they own the game pass we can give them the tool so let's add in a new tool to our game pass weapon script and here we'll just name this say special weapon. And what we can do here, we can say local clone equals script dot special weapon clone. And then we can do clone dot parent equals player player dot backpack. And we also have to add it to their starter gear. So adding it to their backpack, we'll add it to their backpack for their current life. But if they die, they won't have the tool anymore. So we have to add it to their um, starter gear as well. So let's make another variable, local second clone equals script.specialweapon clone. And then we can do second clone dot parent equals player dot starter gear. And then this will make it so every time they respawn, they also get their weapon. Now, special weapon is whatever weapon name yours is. So if it's an AK-47, you can make it AK-47. If you have a weapon name with spaces, um, you have to do something slightly different. So rather than doing script dot uh, weapon name, you have to do script square brackets weapon name here. And that's how you can get weapons that have spaces in the name. Um, but we don't have that in this case. So I'm just going to revert that. And so this will work. So if our player joins the game with our game pass, they will get the weapons. However, we have to do one more thing here. 
if we have a Game Pass shop in our game and the player buys the Game Pass while they're in the game, we also want to give them their tools. And that's pretty easy to set up as well. Down at the bottom here, we can do marketplace service um, prompt, sorry, marketplace service dot prompt Game Pass purchase finished connect. And here we get the player, we get the ID of the Game Pass and we get was purchased. So first, right off the bat, we can say, if not was purchased, then return. If they didn't even buy it, then obviously we don't want to give them weapons. And then the next if statement, if the ID equal equals our Game Pass ID, so if they bought the Game Pass ID, then what we want to do is we want to call give Game Pass awards to the player. So if they buy the Game Pass while they're in our game, we will give them the Game Pass awards. And so that sets everything up. So now let's go over to the Roblox website and create our Game Pass. So you want to head over to a website called create.roblox.com. And when you're here, in the top left, click this Creator button and it will pop up a drop-down list of all the groups that you're in. Make sure you pick the correct group that you're developing for or your account if that's what you're doing as well. And then you'll see a list of experiences here. So in my case, I'm editing the Game Pass weapons um, place here. And when you come into here, you can scroll down to where it says passes under monetization products. And we can create a pass. And here I'm just going to name this game pass, maybe special weapon. And um, you can upload an image if you want. However, it, if not, it will just use some default image. Um, but I'm not going to upload an image. I'm just going to use the default. You can change it later if you want to. It's nothing's hard locked here. So once you make your Game Pass, um, click it again and come over to the Sales tab. And then we can put it on for sale for like, you can say 10 Robux just for testing. And save those changes. Click this Back to associ um, Associated Items button. And then click these three dots and then click on the Copy Asset ID button. And then once we have that ID, we can go back into Roblox and paste it into there. So we're going to change our Game Pass ID to be what we just copied from the website there. And if we test this out now, because you've created the Game Pass, your account will own it. So when we join the game now, we get our special weapon. So anyone who owns our Game Pass now will spawn in the game with their special weapon. And if they buy it from a shop in your game, they will also get it in their backpack. I hope this was helpful. If you want the assets for this, check out the link in the description. And if you need help with anything, um, whether it's this video or some other video, check out our Discord server. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I hope to see you in the next video.